today we show you the basics of the Unreal Engine 4 World Explained tool. So basically the World Explained tool is here to either paint on textures or simple colors like red, blue or green onto a static mesh. And now let's start. First of all drag and drop a mesh into the level and make sure that it, that it has enough vertices because when we have more vertices we get a better painting quality. So make sure that you have enough vertices. Like this staircase here, that's pretty many. As you can see here, that's enough for our painting. Now after that, just create a normal material. So do right click, new material, double click onto it, and then drag and drop the texture into the material editor. Now in here, add a multiply node, so just press M and left mouse button, and connect the texture sample with A from the multiply, and the multiply with base color. Now B, we have to add a vertex color node. So just type in vertex, and add the vertex color node. And connect the RBG channel from the vertex color with the B from the multiply. Okay, that's it. Now we can paint a pretty simple color onto our mesh. So just click onto apply. And then drag and drop the new material onto our static mesh. Now with the material selected, go into the paint mode. And up here, paint color, we can choose the color which shall be painted onto the mesh. So here we'll choose red, or let's say yellow, or green. Yeah, this one here. Then at the erase color, we could choose another color which should be painted onto a mesh with the shift and left mouse button. So there we'll just choose, let's say blue. Down here at the radius, you can choose the radius of your brush. Then of course how strong we should paint onto the mesh, the fall off of the brush, and of course the brush flow. You can either disable or enable this one here. Okay, now let's paint on. So to use the paint color, you just have to do a left click and just drag around, as you can see here. Now to use the erase color, just press shift and then move the and left mouse button and then move it around. And as you can see here, now we have the erase color and the paint color on our mesh. Okay, that's it. That's how you paint on a basic color onto a static mesh. Now let's leave this mode and delete the mesh. And now we can add a texture to it. So go into the material, delete the vertex color and the multiply, and just add another texture to your material editor, so make this grass here. Then of course we will also add some normal maps. And now we can create advanced material. So first of all we have to add a multiply node, so left mouse button and M. Then we have to add a lerp node, so press L and left mouse button. Now connect the ground color with the B from the lerp node, and the color that should be painted onto the mesh with the A from the lerp. And do the same with the normal maps. So that's the base normal map, and that's the painted normal map. Okay. Now connect the up with the A from the multiply, and do the same with the normal map. Then type in vertex, add the vertex color node, and then just connect the RBG channel with the multiply with the B from the multiply, and the alpha channel with the alpha from the lerp. And do the same with the normal map setup. So RBG to B and alpha to alpha. And you have to set up this with every single node. So for example when you use the specularity then you also have to set that up like this one here or even at the metallic and the, at the roughness. So you always set it up like this one here. So just a multiply, a lerp, two textures and a vertex color. Okay now connect the base color stuff here, so this one here with the base color and the normal with the normal map. Okay, that's it. Let's just click on to apply. Drag top the material onto a static mesh. And now we can try it out. You can already see here, we have our normal map onto it. And now when we go into the paint mode, we just have to disable the red, the green and the blue channel and enable the alpha channel. And now we can paint on our texture. So press left mouse button. And as you can see here, nothing works. So now we have to press shift and left mouse button. And you can already see here, we paint on our texture. And in my opinion, it looks pretty cool here. Okay, and as I said, in the material editor, when you want to have a specularity or a roughness, you also have to set it up like this. So multiply lerp to textures and the vertex color. Because otherwise it won't work. Otherwise you just have one, one roughness value at, on the whole mesh. But that's not what we want. So just set it up like this. And you can use every texture you like and you can do it on every mesh. You just have to set it up like this and then paint on. And as you can see here, in my opinion, it looks pretty good for just a basic setup. 
Yeah, so that are the basics from the from the Vertex Paint tool. And thank you for watching. And until next time.